What's up guys? Welcome to the video. I have an interesting uh, view here. <laughs> and that's Bull! Not driving the bus. But it's moving. Science! <laughs> so we've been driving, we just calculated we've been driving for 17 hours. Came from Iowa last night to a biker rally that I did not film for the Smiths. Will not mention, but we did our best to make it through the bike, biker rally. Interesting thing about the biker rally that I will tell the story of my podcast that just came out, my most recent podcast. We had a difficulty with us trying to play a good, wholesome show at a biker rally that wanted a wet t-shirt contest on the front of the stage before we started. Long story short, they took a big pay cut, a big cut out of my pay, canceled the Dancing Girls contest, and we were the first band in 37 years to not have it. Needless to say, I did not film any Smiths there, but we are, have driven 17 hours since then to a Leander show that's now the 4th of July. We're kind of losing our minds. As you can see, Lincoln <laughs> is his mind here. Playing with a hair. Four drivers with us, two on Montana, two on Wildfire. We have we have David. You guys might remember Dave. He was the truck driver, the Yee truck driver, and he's now has a much better job than working for us. But he's still on call, thankfully for us for this trip. He's driving the bus, he's taking turns. So Bull, what time did you go to sleep? What time did you drive and what time did you stop? I started driving at eleven PM and stopped at nine AM. Okay, so David started driving at 9 a.m. He slept most of the night in the bus, and and now it is currently 4:55 p.m. Now that might seem like a lot, but that's not even that's that's only half the challenge. The other half of the challenge is our crew has to set up a stage because we play at 8:30 tonight. <laughs> we have to set up our entire stage, no sound check, no anything. Somehow do this while another band is playing in front of us. So another band's gonna be playing. We're gonna set up behind them. We've already contacted that band. They've kind of set up 12 feet ahead of the back of the stage, and we'll use that 12 feet. Long story short, we've lost our minds, but we're almost there. What are we, Dave? We're, what, 30 minutes out? We are 11.8 miles and 15 minutes. 15 minutes out. Yeah. Rain is the least of our worries today. Yeah. Well, you gotta keep in mind, though. It's bad, but it's gonna get worse. Yeah, okay, there we go. Here real quick. Hi. We're trying to find it. Have you guys seen any ducks anywhere? Oh my god. Um, no. Find yeah. We We're looking for the mama. Oh. I don't <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after we release little ducks back into the water, we do meet and greets now. <laughs> I thought you were back here. Hi. Oh, checking my teeth and putting my lip gloss on. Wow, 
I know. My mom just goes, you're so big. Wow. <laughs> only a mom could say that. Yeah, only my mom could say that to me. So we got here. Last time I updated it was just like do, 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 crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. We're set up right in record time. I think they got it all set up. Yeah. I'm going to go next door to Montana. You want to go huddle with me? I can huddle. We did a quick little meet and greet. I filmed a little. Yeah. It wasn't quick, but. Yeah, London found a duck. Yeah, filmed you just filmed that. Yeah. London found a duck. That meet and greet was not quick. No, it wasn't. But it was great. Yeah. So we're going to go do a show. Ty Ty's here. Hey, guys. Parker's here. Kids are here. Everybody's here. Jazz is here. My mom. So next thing, huddle, Montana, show, Fourth of July, fireworks, come back out. Earl is going to play America. Boom. It's live. You're live on EE Radio. And I'm live on EE Radio. Wow. All right, here we go. The 2021 versions of ourselves, we, we roll in here and we, we work our butts off and we get all set up. The 2018, 2018 version of ourselves, which is gone. 2021, we're just come on here, take your boots off. And we'll say thank you. Guys, crew guys, thank you. You guys crushed it, seriously. Now, now we get to take a breath. We could drop a, I don't care, we could drop a song, whatever. As long as you get you guys back here to just stop for a second and breathe and appreciate, we made it. We've been thinking about this for a month. How are we going to get to Leander, Texas? Are we set up? We are. All of us. <laughs> set up right now. Yes. Maybe. Set up? Yeah. Okay. We are. Hey, it's there. Hopefully Seriously. it works. Seriously. Thank, Thank you, guys. guys. Thank y'all. Yeah. Thank y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Thank so, you, Ben. Thank y'all, Ben, by the way, for being on point and ready. To go. Yeah. Awesome. It kind of goes without saying, too. I want to honor Butch and Bull. You guys have crushed it. Yes. We, want to, we, we want to honor you guys every week, but you're always sleeping. So. <laughs> Lazy. Uh, David, you see, brother. Yeah, man. It's yeah, no driver's guys, too. Thank you all. You guys got us here. We had a, a slight problem on Wildflower. We knocked it out. We locked the fan in. Man, we made it. We made it here. That's amazing. It's amazing. So I just want to soak this in that we, we here we are, we're, we're not only are we at, at our show, we're, we're live, but we're also home. We're all going to sleep in our own beds tonight. So this is not an easy thing. We could have been broken down. We, we, this could have been a fly day. Thank you guys so much. David, thank you for stepping in today. Thank you guys. Yes, sir. Thank you guys. This is worth skipping a song just to say, man, we're a family, and you guys are yeah, Let's get to the set first. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. I don't yeah, care. I don't care. We're thankful. We went through a year of unknown and, and not knowing what's going to happen. And so here we are. We're back. People are shoulder to shoulder, no mask. We're going to soak this in song by song. We're so grateful for this band and crew that was able to put the show together this quick. So grateful for our drivers that could be so diligent and stay on task for so long 17 hours just today add up all the other hours before that it's just it's insane and we give you all the glory uh god we we just thank you for letting us do this crazy stuff for a little bit we can change lives and reflect your light and be uh be a hope for these people that don't have any hope they've lost it over the last year they're going to see something i go i feel normal again that's that's what we're here to do jesus can we pray amen, amen. amen. Yes. risky business on three yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 one two three risky, risky business, business. Welcome back. Oh, hey. Just checking out the old office. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, Ryan got a new desk old here. Desk. It's an old desk. New put it here. there. We put two chairs here for the podcast. The couch. 
new stand. That's neat. Do you have these stands that you're set up? No, but I'm, I think this, this room could use four of these. It'd be cool. Yeah, it's helpful. Maybe even shorter ones. And then this thing that you do have, it's like the little sun. It makes me think of the Truman Show or something. It's like a little fake moon. Yeah. Yeah. And so it projects light evenly to both sides from one light. That's crazy. So we'll see how it looks like on the new episode of the UU podcast. You'll be able to see the Oh, and you can control it on your phone. I can. Uh, oh, now it is the sun. The, from moon to sun. The fit the mood and you can change it. Okay, someone said the other day that we should do a one on one with everybody at the farm as we start to film more around here so that you know who everybody is. So, Brian, what are your top three movies? I'll let you think. The other day, someone asked me that in a small group and they were like, and it was in front of everybody, and they were like, Parker, what are your top three favorite movies? Go. It was my first time in there, and I just blanked. I couldn't think of yeah. anything. So definitely Talladega Nights. The other guys, another good one. Mm, both comedies. Both comedies. Both Will Ferrell. Both Will Ferrell. Huh? I went blank, man. I don't know. Um, it, helped, it helped me to think of genres. All I could think of was Rudy. I just said Rudy. Rudy. That was the only one like I could a, think of. So that's kind of a, a serious sports movie. A sports movie. Or it could be a war movie. War movie. One uh, that I forgot about was Gladiator. Gladiator. I love Gladiator. It's a classic. The greatest game ever played. Okay. There it is. Sports movie. Talladega Nights, Other Guys, and Greatest Game Ever Played. Fair enough. There you go. All right. We're going to do a podcast. Right now. Right now. See you later. What's up? I am in Maverick's room crying. And I just thought that you guys see a lot of our, a lot of our life, but not all of it. And this is just one of those moments that probably could be kept private, you know, but I just, I like to be real with you guys. And I just came in here to kind of put some stuff away in, in Maverick's room and I just got sad. And grateful at the same time. I'm so happy that we have been given the chance to have another baby and everything, everything that's happened, you know, with the house and everything. I feel, I feel very, um, I don't want to say the word blessed because that's just a word that gets thrown around, but I feel grateful. But that doesn't take away the pain of missing River so much. And I just came in here and just prayed and just said, God, I just, I need your strength. And I'm just trying to trust this plan and just know that he is sovereign and he is in control. And we have so, so many good days and we have hard days too. And creating a nursery again and, and opening up baby clothes again, it's like, it's just strange. I just never thought I would be doing it again. So it's just all these emotions and just want to say, you know, if, if, if you're going through anything, if you're struggling, if you're grieving, if you are hurting to cry out to the Lord, because he, he is there and he's, he's listening and you don't have to do it alone. And so I just come in here a lot and cry sometimes and just talk to him. Just talk to him. Just pour your heart out. That's all you have to do. So many people say, I don't know. I don't know how to find God. I don't know where. I don't know. I don't think he's listening. He's always listening. So just cry out. Just cry out and he will refill your soul so that you can keep going and keep taking the next breath and the next step. I don't know why. I just felt the need to pull out the camera. I just feel like so many people see all the happy stuff that, that we've been going through and, and, and living lately, and I love that. But there's still really hard moments too. And um, just wanted to be honest about that. So, I guess that's all I got. That's what your little brother would be doing. Do it for the Smiths. <laughs> Do it for Lincoln. <laughs>